Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Escape Until Friday. This is a $4 horror game on Steam, and the premise is that you're kidnapped by someone who is going to execute you on Friday, so you have to escape before then. So it should be escape before Friday, not until Friday. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Do you want to start the tutorial? I'm gonna go with no. Let me just figure it out. Sunday. Is that some food? Hello. Hi, let's just play it cool. <laughs> it took me eight minutes to text back? Only took him two. Somebody doesn't have a whole lot going on in their life. Let's get down to business. You've committed a serious crime, and soon you'll be punished. Uh, do you understand that I can call the cops from this phone? Let's see what he says to that 19 minutes later. Trust me, you can't. This Friday, you will be justly punished for your sins, but for now, you'll have time to think about what you have done. If you'll recall, uh, what sins are you talking about? Oh, you'll still remember everything. By the way, if you want to survive until Friday, you should go to bed early and wake up exactly at 9 a.m. Neither earlier nor later. Do you understand that? Uh, I understand. Sure. We've been talking for about an hour and a half. That's good. Do you have any questions? Why you kidnapped me? You know better. More questions? I, no, I know better. You kidnapped me because I know better. Dude, this idiot left a screwdriver in here. What an idiot, am I right? You left, the, you left the door open too. Oh, I need a key to open this door. Okay, okay, all right, somebody's thought about some things. All right, there's not a good place for the face cam. Uh, should I just eat this? You have satisfied hunger. Cool. I also have a screwdriver. I can listen crew the bolts with it. Great. So there's survival elements in this. That's interesting. Wait, I can put this in the chest. Oh. Cool. There's also a flashlight. Nice. Okay. All right, I got it. And then this is boarded up. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's go up the ladder. All right, guys, so I found a vent, and it goes to the kitchen and a bathroom. And it sounds like this dude's patrolling. I wonder what he looks like. Do you think he's got, like, someone's face on his face or something? There's nothing in the sink. There's no mirror, either. So the bathroom's kind of a bust. Dude, you have nothing in your kitchen? Oh, wait. He has a bullet in the drawer. Sounds like he's coming in. Or wait. Wait. There he is! He's just a normal guy! This dude looks like a purger, man. Look at him! God bless our new founding fathers for letting me have a completely empty fridge. What do you eat around here, dude? Do you even- He doesn't eat, guys. <gasps> I found a key. He probably feasts on human tears, am I right? You in here, dude? Oh, this is this room. Let's go down. Let's see if this key works right here, because if it does... Oh, it's the car key. Opens the car door. I guess it did kind of look like a car key. Well, I'll keep it. Oh, you can go to sleep? Just like that, it's Monday. Mmm, another can of beans. Can't wait to have some. Good morning. <laughs> what the hell do you need? Let's say good morning back. Let's act like everything's cool. We're not plotting anything. You know, if circumstances had been different, maybe we would get along with you. You have four days left to live. Have you repented of your sins? I, I somehow doubt we would get along <laughs> if circumstances were different. I repent. Let me go, please. That's it. Too late. Too late! What? Well, then why'd you even ask me? Do you have any questions? No, I guess I don't. I would ask why you kidnapped me, but... According to you, I should already know better. Why are you gonna taunt me about repenting and then be like, It's too late to repent! Let's put the pistol ammo in the chest. And the car key. And, you know, the flashlight. Just, I, I assume that's if he catches you, maybe he takes your items or something? Where this dude at? 
Oh no! He saw me! He saw her! Where did he go? Not too smart, are ya? Dude, go that way. Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna go upstairs. Wait, what's this? Oh, I need a key to get in there. Let's go upstairs. Uh, okay. The, what? Dude, this is weird. You can just go outside? Well, looks like I've escaped. I don't have a key to get through the gate. Just climb over the fence. Are you kidding me? Wait, you don't think, you don't think maybe he can see me from in there, do you? He can probably see me. Oh, <gasps> he came outside! Dude, he came outside! Get back in there! Oh! Let's close that. What'd I get? Some pills? Was it to like stave off the hunger? I found another bullet. Dude, this guy's still moving in. He's already got bullets in his drawers. Look, he's got these boxes up. But apparently what's important is that he puts bullets in the drawers. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> what was that? That's how he got me. What a takedown. How quickly time flies. Today is already the third day of your redemption. Let me go, please. I won't tell anyone anything. When I get out of here, you'll pay for everything. I can't wait when you come down to me. Let's let's say that. Um, okay. Don't act like I'm the weird one in this scenario. <laughs> what is it like knowing that in three days you'll be dead and you have nothing to do with that? Uh... What is it like sitting in your filthy house knowing that the rest of your life you have to spend behind bars? Okay, I, I liked the first part of that. Um, what would you say if you were in my place? Let's say that. I would not be in your place. Oh, what a humorless bastard. You behaved badly yesterday, so today you'll be left without food. Sorry, I will not do that again. Don't lie to me. Do you have any questions? Why you kidnapped me? <laughs> You know better. What does that mean? How does this conversation take an hour and a half every morning? Also, I am about to starve. What if we just go to bed? What if I'm a good a good person today? How do I find food? Let's just go to let's just you don't want to sleep. Are you sure? I want food the next day. How do you find food in this place? The kitchen is literally empty. Where does he keep all the food? Look, he's got empty bean cans. Does this guy eat nothing but beans? Look, oh, there were beans. There were beans in the fridge. I don't know where anything is. Like, I found the car key, but in order to get into the garage, I need a different key. I have one pistol ammo and a screwdriver, which I can use to us and crew bolts with. I might as well take that with me. Cause, I don't know, maybe we could use it for something. But I can't find anything else in this house. Also, this guy just walks around here all day. You'd think he'd set up like a camera or something. Also, you can see through walls if you get up right here in front of the vent. You can see what's beyond each wall. I don't think that's intended. What's that? It's an air horn. It's- it's literally an air horn! Bless our new founding fathers for my completely empty kitchen! <laughs> what a sad life you live, dude. You don't have anything, or anyone. What would this guy's diary be like? Dear diary. All the sinners of the world must be punished, what is that? Jerky? Huh? Energy. I found an energy drink. I guess maybe should I drink it? Oh It's so I don't fall asleep. Ooh? What's that? I found a key. 
What is it for? I wish I could see it. I? Tab? They both don't do anything. Okay. We'll hide behind the tree. Do you think the key goes to the gate? Wouldn't that be something? What? No! No way, dude! Ah! No! Why does it- oh. Why does the door open out? Thanks a lot. My health is low. I think if he catches me again, we're done. Hey, I decided to remind you that you only have two days left. Thanks, I already forgot that. We'll be sarcastic right back. I noticed that you are forgetful. Perhaps you can't wait to find out how you will die. How? How, how are you gonna kill me? What creative way? I'll put a bullet in your forehead. All that buildup for that? I'm gonna shoot you. Yesterday you behaved badly. Again, no food today. That's fine. I know where you store it. I just said, okay. <laughs> and then he said, dot, dot, dot. I like how I can get through this even without the uh, screwdriver. Also, I lost, I lost my inventory for that day. Very sad. This is so sad. All right, I'm going to the kitchen. Thanks for the beans. Meh. <laughs> okay. Do you think, I found another bullet. And I found a key. What is this key? Where does it go? Metal key opens the door. What door? What door does it open? I need to know what door it opens, dude. Okay, so apparently, he replaces the items in these drawers. This dude goes through his house and systematically replaces all the items in each drawer. What a sociopath. He mad. <laughs> Not very smart. I've noticed that you're forgetful. At least I don't have a negative IQ like some people. Okay, he's in the kitchen right now. I want to try something. Oh my god! It opens the door! What? Why is that dead end in there? Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, a vent. I hope he doesn't come in here. Code two six. Hide. Yeah, I'm in your baby room. <laughs> nice toys, idiot. Get out of here. This is what his everyday life is like. He just goes into a room. Stands in the middle of it and then leaves. How boring. Okay, I'm hoping he doesn't go in here. I don't think he's going into his bedroom, do you? Huh. Nothing. This dude has nothing in his house. All your stuff's in boxes, but you remembered to unpack teddy bear, didn't ya? He's running. It's getting darker. Uh, is it nighttime? It's light up in the attic. Okay, the metal key doesn't open that up. Huh, I think he's downstairs. Dude, why is it so dark down here? Are you kidding me? Whoa! It's completely pitch black in here! Okay, I, I cheated and I turned up the gamma. You live in a house with no electricity? The hell's the matter with you? Okay, I'm going uh, back down, going to bed. I think, I think we've had enough of, for today. So uh, what, today's Thursday? One day till my execution. <laughs> well, do you repent of your deeds? I already repented and you said it was too late. What are you waiting for? Yes. <laughs> it's good, but it will not save you. Then why did you? Uh, tomorrow you will die. Maybe you have any wishes. 
Uh, I wish only your death. I, w I want you to come down to me. What does that... What does that mean? Please let me go. No. <laughs> okay, fine. You know what? I'll, I'll work on finding the gun to take you out. I don't need your mercy. Your ineptitude will be your doom. Well, I found the air horn again. I don't understand what it's for. Is it a distraction? One should assume, I guess. I'm watching through the slit in the vents. There he goes. It's going that way. Shh. Okay, let's go upstairs. Because there's probably some more stuff up there. I don't know what. Oh! <gasps> I need to have the key! I need to have the key to get in there! Oh, that's mean. Close it. Let's go up to the- let's go up to the attic. What? Go up! It's acting like I need something! Okay, I seriously- I can't find anything. And it won't let me go- Look, it won't let me go up the ladder. Or in- It won't let me go in here, either. What? I found an A key. Opens the door. It's a gold-plated key. And it opens... The door. What? What door? What? You left a bullet at the end of the hall? You weirdo. Okay, I'm waiting for him to come back. He's walking up the stairs. I aim to go that way. There he goes. He's after me. <laughs> I do have a gold key. Which I will use on a door. I don't know, is it this door? It doesn't even tell me. Is it this? Oh my god, it's this door. No, no, don't put your phone out. Car door. Car, car key. What is this? I'm sorry, can you not take the car out? What the? Code three nine. Two six three nine. Yeah, but what is that for? I'm sorry. Hang on. What what is this item that I got? Garage remote. Opens the garage. Okay. Well. Yeah. Let's use it. Use it. I'm sorry. This, this is bullshit. I have the garage remote and the car key. I should be able to leave. <laughs> I used the air horn. <laughs> that was a pathetic air horn. You think he's coming in here? Did I, I successfully lured him. Oh, I see, there's a step missing. There's a step missing. So I guess my character's like, I can't go in there. I can't do that. <laughs> There's a step missing. He's going in there, stupid idiot. Okay, check this out though. Ooh, he came running. The dinner bell was rung. <laughs> He's in the garage now, doofus. Check it out. Did you hear that? Somebody's in the kitchen. I don't understand how my garage remote and my car key are not getting me out of this jam. Is the sun coming up? That means it's Friday. Didn't you have plans to kill me on Friday? This gold-plated key doesn't go to anything. Yeah, hi. 
Go play a key opens the garage door. There's gotta be something in the garage that I missed then. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> There's gotta be something in the garage that I missed. Come back this way, idiot. Oh, looks like there's no one there. What a surprise. Okay. Oh, come on. God bless our new founding fathers for my nearsightedness. Don't go into the garage. I want to go in there. Fine. Fine. Oh! Blue key! Blue key? Really? What could the blue key be for? Front door? No? Alright, time to try it. Pump the air horn in the kitchen. He's going in there. He mad. Okay, yeah, there's nobody there, you idiot. Okay, this one. No? Is it the one upstairs? Is it this? Blue key. I'm hiding. Okay, we finally got into the office. By the way, it's totally Friday. What's the point of the hunger meter? It's been at zero for like 12 hours in game time now, and I'm fine. You think he's even coming in here? Oh my god, it's his diary. Dear diary, I am so tired. My parents and I moved to another city. It feels like the road to this place took forever. Probably we are very far from our old home. It is a pity that I will not see my old friends again. Although, Lisa promised to write to me. Our new house is so big, there is even a basement. But I don't want to come down there. Mom said that rats live there. Sorry, how old are you? Dr. Simon told Mom that I could already go to school. Tomorrow I'll go to a new school. I am so worried about it. Is this the kidnapper? This kid's what, 13? Where are your parents, child? You child kidnapper? Not in the conventional sense. You are a child that kidnaps. I gotta hide. It's behind me. Okay. He totally left. Oh, sucker! What'd I get? I got a different key. I think he's downstairs. Nothing, this is safe. Oh. Okay. Code five. So five two. Is it five two nine or five six nine? It's five six nine, I think. That's the code. How many digits is it? Five six nine zero. Okay. It's a lot of digits. I think he ran right in front of the closet. <gasps> he was standing right there. How could he have possibly known? Excuse you? Do you have x-ray vision? <laughs> Blistering speed. <laughs> Check this one out too. <laughs> Better go check it out, dumbass. <laughs> okay, we did get a new key. Dude, is it nighttime again? Oh! <laughs> Come on, man. It's basically Saturday now. I went through two day cycles with you. That was weird. Should I try again? Fine. Let me go, you sick bastard. What crime did I commit? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You have slightly hit your head. You may not remember some things. This Friday, you'll be justly punished for your sins. What did what I do? What awaits me? Let's just go along with it. Death. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, we're not gonna ask him why he kidnapped us. 
Anyway, give me the screwdriver you stupidly put in here. Let's get this underway. Let's see. Uh, now that I'm a pro at Escape Until Friday, okay, I think we can start breezing through this. The only thing that I can't figure out is why I couldn't escape through the garage and how to get into the attic. The only thing I can figure is that a step from the ladder was missing. Which I'm not sure why that matters. I love this little spot. You shouldn't be able to spy at him through that, but... It works! Aha! I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the step for that ladder! There he is. Is he going upstairs? He's going upstairs. Okay, good. Nothing behind the shed. Now I'm guessing the gold-plated key does not open this. Of course it doesn't. Run? Okay. So, I've got gold-plated key, part of the ladder. There must be a broken ladder in this house. We know exactly where that is. It's upstairs. I haven't been caught yet. Okay, did the air horn in the kitchen, so hopefully he's, he'll sprint in there. Part of the ladder? Should I go up there? I can't read it. No! What?! He punched me from like five feet away! Oh, that is not... How quickly time flies! Okay, let's go up to the attic. Alright, what's up here? Okay, there's invisible walls here. Not cool, because I think he can come up here. Tomorrow I'll go to a new school. I'm so worried about it. Aww, poor villain. Poor kidnapper. We know the second digit is two. What are the other ones? What are the other digits? Does he come up here, by the way? Does he come up here, by the way? I, I'm so mad I can't walk into the rest of the attic. Let's throw all this stuff in there. And just, uh, we're done for the day, okay? Do you have a family? That is none of your business. More questions? <laughs> Why even ask? Why even ask if I have more questions? So the blue key doesn't open this, and the metal key doesn't open this. How stupid are you, dude? How stupid are you? My god, you're dumb. <sighs> How about you nail boards over the vents, you know? Then I really wouldn't know what to do. The metal key opens the garage. The gold-plated key opens the second floor door. The old key opens the second floor office. And what does the blue key open? Very difficult to tell. One seven, so seven to what? Seven to what? Seven two three is the code in the attic. Seven two three. Okay, seven two three. Seven two three. What happened? What happened? That oh, what was in there? Yeah, I repent. Please, amigo. Do you have a family? Mm -hmm. 
I had my wife left me and my daughter. It doesn't matter. You know, I realized that the day my daughter was born was the happiest day of my life. I will remember this day forever. What, the day I asked you if you had a family? You'll remember this day forever. More questions? When was your daughter born? Oh, safe combination. She was born on the 26th of August, 2008. More questions? I see. Remember when I tried to open up that safe? August 26, 2008. The problem is we don't have the gold-plated key, so that's <laughs> that's a big problem. You know, let's just take all this stuff with us. Why do we care? It's Thursday, right? Let's just take all of it. Seven, two, three. Okay. Freaking, what is it? Bolt cutters? I can cut something off with it. Oh, I know what I'd like to cut off with it. I think I can use the bolt cutters to just escape through the gate in the backyard. But let's go up to the safe, because that seems kind of fun. Open. Oh! I have a gun! I have a gun! I killed him! I killed him! I got an achievement to kill her! You fool! Wait, there he is, you fool! <laughs> Look, he looks like a fool. All right, let's just see if that bolt cutter works. You can kill him! That's cool. Uh, bolt cutter. Oh, it is for this. Oh, okay. Well, cool. So that's one escape route, I guess. Oh, I think I'm about to fall asleep. Let's go ahead and just leave it here. I I've been playing this game for like two hours. I'm done. I wonder how you get out the front door. Actually, hang on. Oh, he had the main door key on him. So that's the other way out. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is hilarious. <laughs> Not so intimidating now. Not that you ever were, but... Uh, where's the main door? It's over here. So, bolt cutters are through there. I still don't know how to get out with the car. I don't know. I don't understand that. Okay, blue key? Blue key opens the shed. And the shed has a fuse? Some electrical part. So what? I put a fuse in the garage door opener? Oh. Uh oh, and then you use the fuse here. There we go. Okay, so this is another way out. Gotcha. Wow, I didn't imagine I would I would do all three ways to get out in one run, but here we are. One, two, three. <laughs> I've escaped. I beat this. Honestly, rather lackluster game, and I got a you have escapes.png ending. Great. All right, guys, so that was Escape Until Friday. Should be called Escape Before Friday, but I digress. It's... It's a functional game, I guess. It's like Granny, but... Not nearly as robust or interesting. And a lot more repetitive. Like, when you... When you die in this game... The, the game not only takes away your items, but disseminates them around the house. And Granny, and an evil nun for that matter, at least when you die, they drop right where you are. So it's a lot less frustrating from a repetitive gameplay perspective. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is an early access. It's like version 0 0.1.4, I think, is what I'm playing right now. Uh, but there needs to be a lot of improvements to this thing. It... Uh, one, one thing I would really suggest is the house needs to be way more interesting. Right now, I mean, it looks like the guy's not even moved in. And he just kind of walks around in plain street clothes. He doesn't have any interesting behaviors. He just patrols when he finds you. He has that, like, magnet AI. Goes exactly where you were going. There's no, like, uh... 
there's no techniques that he uses or anything. Um, it's just kind of plain Jane, right? And speaking of plain Jane, I I, I feel like these assets are store bought, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say definitively. And they just kind of look it. Definitely the main villain looks that way. I wish he had some like voice lines or something, just something to make his patrol route a little more dynamic. I think that's really what the gameplay is missing is a dynamic feeling. It, it feels very stale and repetitive. And the keys. Figuring out what key goes where, I get that like that's what it would be like in real life if you just found random keys, you'd have you wouldn't know what they went to. But again, from a gameplay perspective, it's just it's just more convenient if you know what they go to. And I don't think I ever found a key that let me out of the basement. So that door just remains locked. I don't know, maybe I could have tried at the end. I didn't see one though. Um, yeah, overall, just pretty meh. Not very good. But I mean, I, I like these type of games just in general. I like the model of it, so. I still had a good time, but uh, would I ever play again? No, not unless there was a substantial update. And I don't know if I'd recommend to buy either unless there were substantial updates. So, I mean, the game's still being updated last I checked, but then again, it only came out a few weeks ago. So we'll see if that continues. It's a game to keep an eye on, but there's a lot of games to keep an eye on, you know, that are constantly being updated, uh, early access horror titles especially. So. Doesn't really stand out from the crowd. Let me know what you guys thought about Escape Until Friday, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And critically.